Oh yeah, Iron Bull make a good product, man. We out here, coming Georgia, picking up a trailer for a subscriber, man. He's from Detroit, Michigan. You say you from Detroit? Detroit? Detroit, Michigan. Just bought this down here in Georgia. How do you find this trailer? Uh, looking all online. Look at the marketplace. Coming back from uh. For my drive back. Yeah. yeah What's your name? Terrell. Yeah. Terrell Harris. Yeah. He been hitting me. He been hitting me for a couple of a couple of months, for a few months, checking in, just seeing how everything going. But yeah, I'm picking this up, taking it back to the house for him, and then you going all the way to Florida. Oh, California. I'm flying back to Michigan. Hey. He got a. He got a. It was a two door, right? Two door. He got a two door OBS dually, man. Thing is clean as hell. So he flying down to get that. Out drive that, that back, that pick this up from me, and drive it all the way back to Detroit, Michigan. That's how you do it, man. He's a dealer, and he be paying people to transport, now he's gonna be doing it himself. Cut the middle man out. Ain't that right? Yep. Yes, sir. This is nice right here, though, man. This is, this is nice. 36 foot. 36 foot. Big boy axles. This is this is this is legit. I like this. I read Iron Bull make a good product. But yeah, man, I'm getting this thing. I'm running back to the house for him, and uh, he'll come back and get it. But uh, let's uh, let's let them get it turned around, and then we're gonna uh, load it up. Head back to Athens with it. They had it. You know. Yeah. My man messaged me back, like, yeah, I got two of them in stock right now. I'm like, look. Before you can make a move, they gone. Yeah, that's what he told me. I said, look, I'm about to, uh, I said, what holds one? He's like, send me a 200 deposit. Yeah. Now I'm refunding. Okay. <laughs> All right. And this one's brand new, right? Brand new. Yeah, that's a bad boy right there. This place got it going on, man. I was telling him, man, I got a, I got the power steering pump replaced. Oh my God, boy. That is a whole different truck now. I can't believe I struggled with that for as many months as I have, boy. <laughs> it been rough, man. I was actually scared to drive that 40 footer, man, because my, my truck wouldn't turn worth a damn. So I was like, man, but oh my God, that thing is on point now. This place, man, this place is, they got it going on. That's a good company right there, Max D. I've yeah. been doing a lot of reading on them. Yeah, they real good. Yeah. Man, that's badass right there. You'll be able to fit two two big cars on it. Yep. Yeah, you got it going on there. I'm still waiting for them to move some stuff around so I can get get it loaded. But I would love to have a dump trailer, man. You could do you could do some things with a dump trailer. It's Max D brand over here. I say Max D is really really coming up in the equipment world or well, maxed it might be how you say it yes sir i want to i want to dump trailer bad man i want to get bentley one of these man i believe if i can have one of these for ben by the time he graduate high school 18 19 years old man that boy can that boy can have his own uh grading company or something like that because Oh my God, he love them. He love Bobcats and uh, skid trucks and all that, loaders and all that stuff. So that's that's my goal, man. I'm gonna try to have him, try to have him ready. But yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate it, brother. Oh, I'll see you tomorrow. Always gonna help us. Yes, sir. I'll see you tomorrow appreciate when you come pick it up. We'll get some footage of that dually. For sure. And we'll we'll knock it out. You have a safe trip, man. All right. You too. All right. I'm still waiting. I'm gonna get this loaded up here in a minute.
right, man. We got everything loaded up. Do a quick walk around. Got everything connected like it's supposed to be. Nah, it shouldn't. Mine don't hit. Yeah. I don't had a few on there. But uh, looks good, man. Wish I could have bought me one brand new. I might get one soon, man. You know, the sky is the limit. Speaking into existence. That sucker looks damn good. We're gonna head back, take it back to the house, and I gotta go pick up a Monte Carlo SS. Y'all will see that as well. Do that in a little bit. That's it for now. Catch back up with y'all in uh, about an hour and a half back to the house. So uh, stick around. All right, man. Y'all gonna see. This thing turns so much different. Absolutely outrageous. Look at this bad boy. Oh, so nice and smooth. So nice and smooth. Whole different truck, man. What was I waiting on? I guess I was a little afraid how much it was gonna cost, man. They always say, Diesel repairs are high as hell, but it was it was decent, including the pump. Ended up paying like 600, like 650. Also got a service done too, so that normally costs 150. So I guess I paid about 500 for the power steering pump, but man, this thing just turns like it's supposed to, man. Finally, I decided to pull up at the Northern Tool. Get me a tool that's gonna help me do my fuel lines. Happened to pass right by one. They sell some Milwaukee tools, so we're gonna make this little tight left turn right here. As y'all can see, steering wheel just turning. Just great. Turn right, then turn left. Make a U-turn at Old State Route 20, then turn right onto Buford Drive. Almost missed a turn. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I love it. Next right, then your destination will be on the right. Come up in here, make a right, and we should have Northern Two. Yep, to the right, right there. And these brakes strong as hell. All right, let me go in and get this tool, and uh, I'll show y'all what we got. All right, here we go. Walking out of the big Northern Two Buford Drive. Bruh. Just drop the whole box. Walking out of the Northern Two, picked up. You see that? M12 fuel compact cutoff tool. So I figured this thing will work good when it's time to, uh, hope y'all can see me. When it's time to cut these fuel lines. Um, there we go. There we go. The reason I bought this thing is for one, I got 20, dollar off it was a 20 dollar off uh, coupon online so i got the cut off too i got a four i think they go by amps i guess but it's a 4.0 battery which works in the damn uh three eighths ratchet tool that we picked up no i still ain't got no battery for that thing but uh not for lack of effort i just ain't came across one and didn't want to buy one brand new yet but uh it comes with a battery comes with a few discs and a little bag and whatnot. The tool alone was like 140. So I got this whole thing out the door for 189. And it comes with the 4.0 battery, which is like $75. Well, actually it was 89 at Home Depot. It's like 49 on Amazon, but you know, it may not be uh sometimes they say that Amazon stuff be knocked off. So anyway, that's what we needed. I figure I can cut them fuel lines a lot better with this thing. So let's get uh get back in the truck, man. Head back to the house and uh, knock out the rest of the projects for the day.
we made it. We just got to unload. I'm gonna go ahead and get me a sandwich, man. I'm hungry. Quan and them making me a sandwich. But uh, damn, it's a good looking truck right there, boy. Hell yeah. Ooh, good looking trailer. Good looking truck. Good looking fella. <laughs> All right, man, that's it. Uh, I'm gonna get this trailer below us right here, hooked up to the beast. And uh, we off to South Carolina. Three hours later. There you have it, another one loaded up. G body, strapped down, gonna take it back to Georgia. It is hot as hell out here, it gotta be like, it gotta be like 90 degrees out here. But we got it, finna head back to Athens with it, drop it off at Beano Shop. And that's it for the day, man. Uh, probably catch y'all tomorrow when Buddy come back with the OBS dually to pick up his trailer. But until then, man, I'll holler at y'all later. Peace. Well, well, well. Hey, better late than never, ain't it right? This is a hell of a journey here. I believe it, man. You're gonna now you're gonna have to tell the fans what you've been through, man. Man, leave Tampa, get about an hour and a half out, water pump go out. So I did new water pump, clutch fan, tensioner on the side of the road. Talk about walk two miles so I can get an Uber. Wow. Up the highway. <laughs> did that. Got it back running. Drove up to Gainesville, stayed the night. Yesterday. Now, let y'all know, this is the original water pump that was on this truck. Wow. Holy cow. I had to keep that for a souvenir. Yeah, yeah. That ain't never. Yesterday, going to, coming up 75, semi truck tire blow out. Take out the fender. A not, so a, a, a tire off of another semi blew out and you ran over it, it hit you. It came across the road in front of me. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Bruh. Oh my God. It hit the, it broke the bolts in the slave cylinder. Yeah. Broke those off and blew out the tire on the driver's side. So I had to get all new tires. So you put all new tires back on six. General grabbers, those are good tires too. And close in the back back there too, boy. The tires I just put on close like that too. Yeah, uh, on uh, OBS's, they run a 225 in the, on the inside. So you came miles. all the way from Florida with that little gap. That makes me that makes me happy because I, I got a gap like that. And it's, uh, it's rough. I'm surprised you ain't put the white letters out, man. No, they didn't have no white letters. Oh, this? That's the, that's the old one. Oh, the old, so that side got a brand had a brand new one on it on the inside, so they were like, just leave it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So these are all black walls. All black walls. So this truck, after all said and done, it got you all the way from Tampa. Running great. Out here. Running great. And you finna hook to the trailer and go all the way back to Detroit. All the way back. Back to the D town. Dang man, manual. No, you getting good mileage with that motor. Hey, hell no. You ain't. <laughs> no, dude. It must be the end. No man. way. It's that 454 drinking. Maybe, oh, 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 well, you you getting better than if you had automatic. Oh, and maybe yeah. if I keep my foot out of it. Like, yeah, I know, you. yeah, yeah, I know. I don't think I came under 85. Man, I can't believe you went through all that, man. It's been, it's been three days, Saturday, yeah. Sunday. Yeah, I love Sunday. Sunday, 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 yeah, yeah, he's supposed to came in. He's supposed to came Monday, today is, oh. No, I was supposed to be here. You supposed to came Sunday, Sunday. yeah. He supposed to came back Sunday and leave out Sunday, head back to D-Town. And, uh. And, and, and it's today is Tuesday, so dang man. But luckily, he gave him some fenders. The guy gave us extra fenders, look like extra, fenders. extra bumper, tailgate. Bumper, tailgate. Yeah, yeah. You ain't did no wrong. Well, let's get you in the back. All right. I'll uh, catch you. You can uh, you can make it between that tree and that water thing right All there. Right. Go around and I'll catch you back there. Oh yeah. 
single calf do it. OBS gang. So they might have to take that stuff out of out the bed. You gonna take the stuff out of the bed and put it on the trailer or you got room? I got I should have room. I, I'm gonna stop at home people and get some straps. That was the one thing I know I forgot. Alright, well yeah, let's sit that we can sit that stuff on the trailer for now. Yeah. And then uh get you hooked up. Yes sir, man. It's a nice setup. Yes, gang. Happy for the fella. Yep, got it locked. That does adjust, but I've never done it. See, that's how it came. He told me. Yeah, he had to adjust it to put it on my truck. Now, we got to get yours flat and level. We can go up the road and get on flat concrete or asphalt, level it out. Once we let it up, it'll be fine. So what we can do is probably pull out from under it, and then we, at least we can let it up where it's at. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Pull just pull out right off the wood. Yeah, go. Uh, sometimes it works better going backwards. Put it in reverse. That'll be good enough to get home. Hell, it looked level already. Man, this is a nice setup here, man. I know you're excited. Man. You deserve it, man. You put you put a plan in place and you made it happen, ain't it right? Yep. All right, let me uh let me help him get everything loaded up. And we'll catch him pulling out. Got a long trip ahead of you. Well, you should be. Hey, you didn't change all the all the stuff that's worth changing, so you should be good to go. Hey, no, just add the yep. T tell her what you said about that El Camino. Hey, that El Camino on video it looks great. In person, man, that's a bad motherfucker. He just stopped. Freak. He just seen CJ's El Camino at the rim shop up there on the corner. Man, that's so freaking. That's looking like nasty right there. So tell him you got. You actually got a load to put on here as soon as you go back. I'm going back, I'm about to pick up a bed down in Decatur. Then I'm going up to Nashville. A friend of mine needed to move his daughter's car back from Nashville to Memphis. So I'm gonna load up and take that on back. Mm -hmm. Yep, there you go. Already got it set up, man. That might put a few dollars in your pocket, right? Hey, man. Hey, hey pay for the trip at least. <laughs> I hear you, man. Well, pay for the gas. That's all I care about. Well, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate, man, I appreciate you. you, man. Yeah, man. Anytime, man. Anytime. I'm glad I got a, got a little footage. Got to let everybody see. Put a plan in place, man, and we knock it out. You know yep. what I'm saying? So All the plans don't happen at the same time you expect it to, but guess what? It happened. Yep, yep. And as long as you got a backup plan and some some help along the way, you're going to be good. Put that old manual to work at five speed. Have a safe trip, bro. All right. Yes, sir. 
that's good man that's a good story all right that's it for this episode man hey like share subscribe drop some comments man y'all know how to do it hey we appreciate y'all watching catch y'all next time peace Someone sells you the wrong size tires and you drive a thousand miles, they rub. Rub the whole way. And you have a blowout at fucking midnight, 177 miles away from home. Now I'm riding home, single action. Exhaust fucked up. Just spent a thousand dollars on four tires that all need to be replaced because they the wrong size. I'm fine to the net bus. I got one of those. I got two bars. Yeah. So you got, you got the peanut corn. <laughs> <laughs>